All right, we are back and we're talking about the male reproductive system. Um, the male reproductive system has both internal and external um, parts to it. And we're going to start off with the internal, with the testes or testicles. So we kind of talked about how it produces testosterone and it's used for puberty. Um, but uh, the other important part is the testicles produce and store sperm cells. And those are the, the male reproductive cells um, needed to create new life. Um, the testes, there's two of them. They're oval shaped. Um, they're located in the scrotum. And in the article that I'll also be posting about the male reproductive system, it talks about how the scrotum helps regulate the temperature of the testes to help protect the sperm and how it um, will tighten up the muscles to help pull the testes closer to the body to keep them warm. And then also the muscles will relax to have them hang further away from the body um, if the core body temperature is too hot. Sperm are very, very, very um, sensitive to temperature change. So that's why the scrotum, uh, the bag of skin, hangs behind the penis, is so important in sperm um, protection. So the sperm cell, there's four different parts. We mainly only talk about two, the head and the tail. Again, this is the sex cell. It's, cell. it's needed for reproduction for, for, um, to create new life. Um, and you are not necessarily born with this cell. This is something that happens. Um, the cell is created when you go through puberty. Again, it needs that testosterone, um, whereas that's different for girls. Girls are born with their reproductive cell. The epididymis and vas deferens. Um, so the epididymis is right alongside the testicle. This is where the sperm cell go to be stored and finish maturing once created in the testicle. And then the vas deferens help transport the sperm um, during ejaculation, uh, which um, when it's added with the fluid, we're going to talk about that next, it's called semen. So the seminal vesicles in the prostate gland um, those are those are glands that help provide fluid that lubricates that duct system, um, and it provides nourishment to the sperm as well. So when we talk about sperm cell mixed with the fluid, that's how we get the name semen. So semen is just that fluid and sperm cells. For external genitalia, we're, um, we talk about the penis, which has three parts. So the shaft is the main part of the penis. Um, then there's the glands, which is the tip or the head of the penis. And then there's the small opening or the slit at the end of the, the head of the penis called the urethra. And for boys, semen and urine exit the body um, through the urethra, whereas girls have separate openings for their urinary system and reproductive system. They have the urethra and then the vaginal opening. But for boys, your reproductive and urinary um, uh, openings are the same. Foreskin is just a layer of skin that covers the end of the penis. Um, all boys are actually born with this. Um, there's a removal process called a circumcision. It's usually done uh, within the first few days of life. Uh, it's not required um, to have this removed, and it's usually done for personal or religious reasons. So this is a diagram of the male reproductive systems. You can see that there are two testicles. They both have an epididymis right alongside of it where the sperm cells um, are stored. And then during ejaculation, those sperm cells will travel through, it's kind of purple, so through that duct system, and it kind of meets up at the prostate gland. And the prostate gland plays a huge and a really important role in um, where it kind of signals the muscle that meets um, the duct system, kind of meets at the bladder. And when ejaculation is happening, when that semen is passing through out the urethra, um, through um, out the head of the penis, the muscle will actually close off to the bladder to make sure that urine is not coming through at the same time as the semen. And then it'll switch and there's a little muscle that kind of it closes off the duct system when you when you urinate so that only urine is going through. Urine is very acidic. It would kill off sperm cells. Um, so and it is not useful to have both things going through the urethra at the same time. So it's only one or the other. All right, next we are going to talk about um, pregnancy, new life, and fetal development.